We've gotten some more information from the recent Star Citizen Life episode for UI, and we're going straight into it. The very first question that was asked was, can we set different zoom levels as default? And the answer was, we are working on this. The map will start differently depending on the context of what your character is doing. The next question is, are you going to add filters so you can find specific things? And the answer with it is something that they want to do. Um, though not the priority right now, but it will come. For example, you could see amenities, only shipyards if that's what you're looking for, etc. Um, so that's that's a cool feature to be able to search for um, different shipyards or different um, stations or uh, landing zones based on a certain service. Uh, let's say uh, refineries or um, let's say uh, cargo um, facilities and things like that. So that would be a cool thing to add. The next question is, will the marker we save be persistent if we log out? And the answer is, it is the goal, yes. It won't be in 323.0, but there are some technical challenges that will be done with server meshing. Then you should be able to save them. You will be able to place them in interiors and in space. That's To be able to save them in, in space is going to be a huge thing because then we can start setting up um, uh, markers for the locations of our ships that we leave behind or markers for a place where you and your org mates can meet up as a little base of operation it's uh it's cool or even like if you're mining and you found a really big rock and you filled up but uh you um still want to come back to the same location and continue mining that same rock you can also do that so this is going to have huge impact the next question is will we be able to share locations with other players and they said yes it is part of the design in the future Post 3.23.0, you should be able to share your markers with other players and we will and even sell them if you want. That is going to be huge. For example, if you are an explorer and you do end up finding a, a spot with lots and lots of um, uh, rocks with, let's say, quantanium in it, high value material like that, you can save that marker of that location and sell it to somebody that is actually a miner. You know, so it's a uh, huge implications with with just this little feature here. The next question is any progress to MFDs so we can efficiently land in first person? And they said, yes, we are working on improvement to the MFD landing um, a radar. We want to show terrain around you, too. That is going to be awesome. They did have this earlier back in the day, but um, it looks like they're revamping it and reworking it. Um, and I cannot wait to see what that's going to look like. The next question says, any work on the UI in 323.0 and the holographic effects? And they say, we have a lantern thread here. We want it to look cool, but it must be easily readable. As you've noticed, and we too, the holographic effects have been a bit over the top recently. We very much appreciate the feedback and we are still dialing that in to get the tone right. There are graphical fixes on the way as well, color correction, sorting of names in a list of points of interest, etc. Very nice. The next question is accessibility. Um, and it says, and they respond with, this will come further down the line. But yes, we want the option to help people with color blindness, font size, etc. As we continue to develop the UI, and transform the legacy UI to the new UI. This will become much easier. We've read plenty of feedbacks. Thank you for raising these points. Next question is, what other Mobi Glass can we look forward to? I'm assuming they mean the apps. And the answer is there are some apps that we didn't update yet, but we are working on updating all apps in the Mobi Glass. Knickknacks will have a full overhaul too and even organizations that's going to be huge i cannot wait to see that but now is not the time next question is why does the circular quick interact menu uh, pie or pis look so different to the other ui menus and they say it's not the ui of the world and physical things around you it's something in your mind it is representing your thoughts but we are still working on it we want the ui to be somewhat different 
Interesting. The next question is, the current animation to open Mobi Glass is rather slow. Could you please speed that process? And they say it's, it's a really old animation. We've updated the UI, but we agree we need to update the animation at some point. It should be pretty quick, organic, and diegetic. The next question is, will there be a means of locating our ships farther than 20 kilometers? And the answer is, right now, the ships will stream out when it's too far away. Then it gets harder to have the location. It is something we will work on as it is something that will become increasingly important. I have noticed that um, LODs, like you can see, um, like stations and, and, and planets from a lot further away. So they are dialing these things in and I think ships are going to be just as important as well. So I, I'm, uh, I'm confident that they will, they will um, make this update. The next question was widescreen support and it says there is a slider allowing you to select resolution you want depending on your monitor. And the last question is customization of the UI and the answer is the first drop of visor and lens layout will start to help with customization. At the moment we are focusing on making the UI at its best then we could start looking into customization all right so those were the questions and answers guys you guys let me know your thoughts down below on any other questions or any other points that was discussed in this video don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys on the next video